Alrighty, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Doing Sunday Night Live. Let's do a little test over here. This is going to be an electromagnetic test. That's something I want you to notice here. So let's start off with um, these coils. These are the ones I took off that first stator. And here I noticed that the wire is aluminum on the inside. Very lightweight and some shielding on the outside, but also there's like a copper around the outside of the aluminum. Okay, interesting. So let's see how this one reacts. We're going to put DC voltage into this here. And we're going to put this galvanized plate right on top. And we're going to do a little, little test. We're going to see if we can vibrate this. We'll put a little sand on top. Put it to work. Benny, cut it out. All right. You can see the voltage in there. Nothing happening. Nothing. All right. So let's go ahead and. Ben, Ben, come on, boy. I'm going to swap that coil out. These are the ones that I'm redoing. Very lightweight. This is one I do with 18 gauge wire. And something pretty interesting I noticed is because we have laminates here. And I never had this happen to me before. Benny! <clears throat> ben, ben, come on. Let's put some more sand on it. Let's see if we can get it to vibrate. Now, I've never seen DC do this, which would be vibrate. Let's put that right there. Let's go ahead and... What is going on? This is how induction stoves work. So they're using laminate. And I'm just using this just to keep this up in the air. I don't need this because I could hold it. Like, watch. I can feel it vibrating right now. Watch this. vibrating the whole plate. Let's go ahead and move on up to a bigger plate. Vibrating a bigger plate. This is all DC going into a core this is something i haven't experienced before so you guys want to talk about it um we're, we're wrapping regular 18 gauge magnetic wire around these laminate core and um it doesn't happen with this with this wire and that's because it has aluminum on the inside the inside of this wire is aluminum so it's not happening the effect is not happening on this coil, but the one I just wound that I'm making for for this guy over here. Um, and I was doing some tests over here, and I'm rewinding some coils just to check what I need to wind the outside coils because these are all going to get rewound. But I was just checking to see if there's a moving magnetic field there. Um, we can go ahead and kick this on. 
This is voltage coming in off the three phase. I do have the three phase connected to this big guy and I'm looking to see if the, if the compass moves, which it does. So there's a magnetic field that's going around this three, in this in, in a three phase. Hopefully you guys could see my compass. Could you see it? Could you see the compass moving? Reacting to the load? <clears throat> Let's get back to this beautiful piece over here. So, um, so why do you think that this is acting like the inductor stove and it's pulling down like this metal here is galvanized steel? flashing metal so why through induction is it vibrating the plate let's go ahead and turn this on we're doing it's it's, it's taking a big draw you can see what it's doing to the Move it around a little bit. It's DC acting like that going into a coil, guys. I think it has everything to do with the, the laminates and the core. Anybody have any comments about it? Because of the laminated core, we're getting a vibration. That doesn't happen to me on regular cores. Let's, let's investigate this a little bit. So, I guess we'll put the plate over here and we should have, look at this, it's already sticking. That's how soft iron's already a magnet here. So let's go ahead and put some power to this one now. And 
Should we see a vibration or not? I'm going to say no. What do you guys say out there? Who's out there? Let me give a shout out. Who do I got out there tonight? Where's my peeps? I see your eyeballs. All right. So, um, hey, Tommy in the house. Yay, yay, yay. Tommy, Tom, Tom, Tom. All right. So, um, great comments, by the way, Tom. So, um, let's go ahead and fire this up and let's see if we get a vibration off of this. Oh, it's stuck like a magnet, but. All right, so it's just pulling. It's just pulling, okay? There's, there's no vibration at all. So it has everything to do with the minimizing eddy currents because when you have a laminated core each section is also shielded i believe and and this is what it looks like little pieces and each one is individual core okay and they seem to have a shiny coat on them so i assume that they're all individual laminating pieces i'm not sure if they're coated or they're just pieces probably just pieces because i think the atomic part of the metal itself um isolates each piece so anyway they'll have to react to each piece the energy so we're going back to this so why are we vibrating here just with dc going in there pretty fascinating let's do it one more time so we're gonna vibrate into the core now this is going to be one of the coils for the wheel i just had over there and that's going to be a electric magnetic wave that we're going to generate that's going to be like a wave in a um, football stadium. And it's just going to keep going around the whole wheel, which would be like a football stadium. And we'll get into how we're going to pick up power from that, how much power we're going to put in. So here we go. This is just like my induction stove in my house. I'm going to get, look how far above it. Always something, huh? And I don't need the this, just being lazy. So that has everything to do with the core. That's amazing. Did you guys know that out there? This is new to me. That that core there creates a, vib a vibratorial, creates a vibration in, in, into the, um, <clears throat> from the, from the copper. That's pretty fascinating to me because now if I want to create a vibration in the PMH, PM, if the PMH was laminated, then the PM, PMH, I believe Ed's was laminated. There's an old picture out there. In fact, it is laminated. There's an old picture out there of Ed's PMH and it's laminated. So it vibrated. That's an inductive vibration. Is that not cool? 
So I got some sand over here that came that's 99.8% uh, crystal. Quartz, I mean quartz. So this is quartz. This is cool stuff, guys. This came off one of the beaches in Florida. See how quartz reacts. Too much. So, conversation, leave your comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, just wanted to show you that vibration was created in the iron bar here because it's laminated versus a iron bar that's solid. So the minimizing of eddy currents, which is what laminates do, um, seems to put many little eddy currents in between the iron and many magnetic fields that are smaller than the magnetic field of the bigger core. So um, something I noticed, and it also vibrates, which means there's, there's a vibration going on in it from, from some type of, of um, clattering going on in between the laminate plates and the magnetic field there's there's nothing moving here we're using dc so have a good night thank you